Everybody's freaking out right now. What the heck is going on? Everybody's running scared. Right now, who's making the most money in the marketplace? Right now, the media is doing such a great job of scaring a lot of people. How many folks do you right now see on your social media posts? Everybody going buying medical kits, trying to buy water, toilet paper. about the market my question to you is what are you doing right now in terms of playing defense what is your strategy right now so therefore you can rent defensive blitz on what's going on in the marketplace today yeah I've obviously you've heard the saying that defense wins championships well at the same time too a great defense could be a great offense and so that's what I'm encouraging you to consider thinking about what in, in this market everybody's running scared right now who's making the most money in the marketplace right now the media is doing such a great job of scaring a lot of people I mean right now you go to a Costco I mean how many folks right now on social media have posts about people uh, uh, going to Costco trying to buy water toilet paper right uh, going to CVS uh, going to Walgreens how many folks in right now see on your social media posts everybody going buying medical kits uh, masks everybody's freaking out right now right and, and you're thinking to yourself what the heck is going on and, and guys here's the bottom line more people die yearly from the flu than coronavirus right the, 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 did I say not be cautious, not take preventative measures, not make sure you're washing your hands and your kids at school, they're not sharing cups and sharing utensils and whatever the case may be that, that you're having this conversation. I didn't say that, you do those things. But in terms of freaking out, you see, this, this is when a lot of people lose money. This is when a lot of people lose momentum. For those that are smart, this is when you gain momentum. And so for those that are smart, those are you're thinking long-term, Patrick but David released a video on the coronavirus explained. He went all to the different markets, the swine flu, a uh, bird flu, HIV, all these different diseases that everybody was talking about in the media. And what did it do to the market long-term, not short-term? What did it do to the market long-term? You know what the answer is? You sure you know what the answer is? Here's what the answer is, nothing. But in the meantime, for those of you that's an investor, you're making money right now in five minutes. If you're an investor, right now you're making money in 10 minutes. Right now, right now as an investor, you're making a bunch of money right now, making long-term savings and investments, playing for your long-term because you, you have a good strategy on how to play defense. So if you're thinking long-term, then these short-term hiccups shouldn't directly affect you right away. Now, of course, express caution. Maybe you should be mindful of, of things. Maybe you should be taking caution of how people are interacting and, and sharing bodily fluids through, you know, the sharing of cups and, uh, uh, and food and things that you don't think, uh, coffee, coffee mugs, whatever it case may be. Of course, pay attention to those things. I think long term, it should not be a reason for people to be freaking out. Somebody also mentioned, is this happening right now? Because listen, the worst day in the stock market was last Friday. Over 1,100 points was lost in the stock market. Last worst day in the stock market. Everybody was, oh my gosh, sky's falling. Worst day ever recorded in the history of the stock market was last week Friday seven days ago here's the flip side to that what was the best day in the stock market what was the best day in, according to the Dow Jones the best day in the market was the following Monday so the worst day was Friday in the market the best day was Monday so what does that mean this is the opportunity for you to make a lot of money so my question to you is what strategy are you doing right now? Are you implementing right now? Who are you talking to right now to make sure that you're taking an opportunistic approach, not a fear approach, but an opportunistic approach to make sure if, if Costco and Walgreens and CVS are making money and at the same time, consequently, hotels, and we were even talking about Chinatown, right? We were even in Chinatown here in downtown Chicago. It was like, it's like a, it was like ghost town. Chinatown's like ghost town, right, Alex? Like people are like not wanting to go to Chinatown right now. By the way, you go down to Chinatown, you think you can find some deals downtown? They would love you. They would love you to go to, to Chinatown right now because people aren't going there because of fear. You think you can find some good deals right now in Chinatown? You think they'd be happy to have you as a customer? It'd be an opportun opportunity for you to, to, to go do some business with people that normally would not have been doing business with you. Opportunity time right now. So what strategy are you doing right now to play financial defense to put you in a much better financial position three, four, five years from now? I started doing that in 08, 09. You know why? Because I learned from my mistakes in 01. My, most, my mistakes in 01 was not being prepared for a recession. I didn't even know what a recession was. I just got involved in business. I just got involved in, in, the, in the markets in 99, 2000. I didn't, I didn't anticipate 
what a recession was when the dot-com bubble happened in 01. I said, this is not gonna happen to me ever again. Everybody's making money around me but me. And so when the recession happened in 08, 09, I was stacking, before then I was stacking cash, making money, putting myself in financial position for those five, six, seven, eight years. When the market came in in 08, 09, that's been the birth of the best financial years of my life. And the reason why I'm sitting here today on this Facebook Live as a cash flow millionaire is because of the decision I made, not in 08, 09, but the decision I made in 05, 06, 07. My consideration for you, that you ought to consider, is what type of financial moves are you making right now in 2020. So by 2023, 2024, 2025, you are raking in millions. This is the easiest time right now to make your millions, to make money. The country's doing right now phenomenal in terms of the job markets and the job strength growth, businesses. The businesses are showing the health of what's going on in the marketplace today. Job reports are strong. Unemployment is low. Matter of fact, people are making a little bit more money than they did last year. By the way, that's just data that you can use. To, to understand, anytime everybody's talking about fear, fear, emotion, this is the opportune time for you to understand and grip logic, because a lot of people aren't willing to grip logic. Maybe this is an opportunity for you to grip logic too as well. The question is, what do you program your subconscious mind? What do you program your subconscious mind? Because the subconscious mind, if it's not programmed with learning and understanding wisdom, guess what it defaults to? Emotions. 